go around here. So, so student, see, we established ourselves on the right downwind because fixed winds fly. The left downwind is it's uh, the regulation for this airport. Major airports it normally happens like that. So we fly a different pattern. So we stay out of their way. We fly lower than them. They do 700, 1200. We fly 500. So there's no collision problems. Okay. See, you see those big two white marks on the runway about a thousand feet from the beginning? That's a thousand foot marker. That's where we're going to try and land. Now the way we're going to do is we're going to do a nice. Uh, perpendicular turns, 90 degrees, 90, make it nice and clean and proficient so people think we're really good at, the, at what we do. And we're going to come in, it's getting warm in here, and we're going to come in and gradually slow ourselves down and descend slowly, ensure that we always are in a safe flight profile. By doing that, with the collective, you slowly lower the collective, all right, and the nose is going to slowly start dropping. So we just bring it slightly back. Now you're taking away torque, so you also put a bit of right pedal. See? See? This is no pedal. This is a bit of right pedal. So it looks much nicer. So now our side is clear. Hold no traffic. You yeah. just call the radio call. Traffic. I'll come before six echoes. Right face. Final one with two eight. Now we made a call. Now we can keep on turning. But we don't want to descend too much. And we do a nice smooth turn. Now we're 90 degrees to the runway. We can't see because it's behind the trees. But you got to believe me on this one. So. We, we hold our altitude, we don't want to fly over these people's houses, you know, so kind of keep on going. 60 knots is a very good number, it's a nice round number, it normally works for every helicopter. We're going to use 60 knots, alright? So we know that the elevation here is 1,000 feet, we are 1,400, so we're 400 feet above. Your side clear? Yep. My side's clear. Let's turn in, alright. Now we see the 1,000 foot marker there, right? We want to come in with it like a 3 to 5 degree angle. So let's start slowly bleeding that speed just by bringing the side quick back. See, see our speed coming down? And you can actually see the walking pace on the ground. You, we're actually slowing down, but we're too high. So let's slowly lower the collective. And now because the torque is going away, our nose is yawing. A bit of right pedal. And look, perfect. You see how we're established level? Our speed is not going up or down. We're going down very smoothly. But now we're getting a bit too shallow. So we'll raise a bit the collective. Bit left pedal. And a bit forward just to keep our speed perfect. Look at this. Look how beautiful it is. Now, our descent rate is still a bit too slow, getting a bit too too steep now, so we lo lower a bit more. There we go. Right pedal, losing torque. Now, when are we going to come to the ground and we lose our speed and we're going to start pulling a lot of uh, collective, we're going to have a lot of torque. So we're going to have to use that left pedal to keep us straight. Okay? Look at this, beautiful, so slow, nice walking pace on the ground. Now the closer you get to the ground, the slower you, you're bringing yourself to the point, and you always have the walking pace, all right? See, too shallow now, so let's raise. Now when we raise, the nose is coming up, so push it forward, so we'll, or we'll lose all that speed. Look at that, coming out of ETL, some vibrations, normal, looking good, raise, a bit more left pedal, raise, left pedal, raise, left pedal, now you're in ground effect. Now the wind coming down from your main rotor is bouncing off the ground and holding you up. Perfect, look at that. There we go. This is our spot. And let's slowly bring it to a halt. Lower collective. Use the pedals for the heading. And man, that was smooth.